so welcome back and uh, we are going to configure a biometric machine in our software so what we will do and we will do uh, how we can add our device and how we can connect this device in a software so let me jump to our software Here I am in the software. So by default, these are the settings in the software. And let me bigger that screen. And by default, these are the settings that we, uh, when we configure install our software, we have these settings. And uh, let me. Uh, delete this so i am go with the fresh okay and select that this one and sure delete it so first setting we will do with our lan how we can our do our get our machine on a lan if you have a setting on your lan so just go to your device and add new device when you click on add device we have a device maintenance option so name it what machine that you are going to do it so name it is a LAN machine so go with machine number obviously that we have set it is one and it will be on internet so you can see the default ip is one two zero so we are going to one dot n and the port that is going to be we are used here the, this is the machine i face 702 port 4370 so we will configure that port 4370 and communication key that we have just double two double two just okay and your machine will be added so when your machine is configuration is settings done and just click your machine and you can connect and you can see here extreme bottom of my right screen so it will connect that machine with the give the status so in my case because i do not have on the machine on lan but it will not connect but i will show you the error message so in my case i have a, a machine on by remote side so i will do with the net setting uh, that we are cover in the later videos how we can perform our net static ip through some netting with the same setting so when you click on connect so you can see a lan machine connecting is giving you a time what time is it's going to connect so because on this network this there is no machine on the lan so it will not connect so so the status is disconnected So let me add another one machine that is on a remote side in and add device. It is on a remote machine and machine number is I seven. It is the internet and here I have to give the static IP of a remote router that we have get from isp which is 175.110.18.21 and the port will be 4370 and you have to give the communication key which is double two double two so click ok and now this machine is on a remote side with the remote static ip so i did not give anything on my head office pc i am on a head office pc a head office branch so head office and i did not do anything on my head office router 
simply I have installed the software on that PC and on that PC I've just configured the IP of remote router and give the machine parameter that I have set on my that machine. So let me click on uh, that select machine and let me select if my remote side is on. So it will definitely connect. Let connect it. So rem remote connection machine is going to connect. So you can see the LAN machine is failed because there is no machine on my LAN network. That's why it prompt me this message. Still connecting. Yeah, it is connected now. It, now you can see my remote machine is now connected, and when it is connected, it will sync. It will give the icons of green and yellow, and you can see the machine is now connected with that IP. And you here is the product name is IP seven zero two. Currently, you have a user count. How many users on on your machine? Six seven zero six. Admin count, how many admin? There are eight admins on that machine. So this is this machine is in a productive site. So I'm in a production environment. So I have give you live example of uh, live machine. So fingerprint count, we have one four double four finger count that the uh, numbers of employees on that machine and one four one. The employees are enrolled with facial impression your face so password is not and log count two double two so there are two double two transactions have been done on by metal machine in and out and also you can see the serial number so this part is now uh, is now the connectivity of that machine and we have discussed it and for that now till now have a good day and take care and I'll see you in the next lecture.